Hey guys, what is going on? It's Hamish from Income Stream Surfers. I wanted to quickly talk about uh, why I think Redbubble is actually the best print-on-demand marketplace for beginners and why Etsy is a little bit more difficult than a lot of people think. So let's talk about Redbubble first and why I think Redbubble is so good. The best thing about Redbubble, the really, really, really good thing about Redbubble is all you need to do is find a keyword, make a design, upload it, and you're done. You don't have to worry about anything else. You don't have to worry about delivery. You don't have to worry about people returning the item, nothing, okay? Etsy, on the other hand, has a lot of problems. Okay, so as I'm, I haven't actually made a sale on Etsy before. I've only got two designs and they're both uh, off Etsy now. They're uh, expired. So I, I wouldn't really want to talk about this from my perspective, but I've been part of this Etsy sellers support community for a while now. Just to preface this, this is a support group. So obviously a lot of the comments are people looking for support, but the things that they say are pretty much the same every time. And it's pretty worrying, to be honest with you. So let's, let's just look at this one example. This is the first example that came up when I went onto this group. OMG, I'm about to cry. I've only got five sales so far and one of my packages that I promised would be there by 13th because I shipped two days ago, no, no problem, is now back at my house saying that there's not enough money. I paid $4 for shipping, but it's saying because of the box, it's going to cost me $17. Why even sell stuff if the shipping is so expensive no one will pay? I'm about at my end. I don't know what to do. This is exactly the kind of thing that I worry about when uh, I was... Uh, before I started selling on Etsy, I did, did a lot of research. And you have to be prepared. You have to know everything. You shouldn't have as many problems if you're using a print-on-demand supplier like Printful. But this is still very, very worrying. And if people want to return goods and people might give you one star ratings if they don't return it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, yeah, this is a pretty good picture as well, um, which is a picture of sales and credits, 2,347 or 374, sorry. And fees and taxes, $700. Okay. So, if you kind of compared these sales to Redbubble, there's a pretty good chance that you'd make the same amount of money if you include uh, returns as well, I guess, and include everything else. Yeah, most of this is just about postage costs. Postage costs are a real problem. Um, if you're sending something to Britain, for example, within the EU at the moment, there's duties on pretty much everything, and they're very, very high duties. It's quite worrying, honestly, and I definitely... Yeah, I have an order to send United States NC from UK. There is no iOS number on my email. I normally get one. I send with a Royal Mail. Do I need one? How do I get one? It's all just about sending things. This is what I really, really like about Redbubble. It's so much simpler. If you're just looking to get involved in print on demand and to kind of dip your toes in, I highly recommend starting with Redbubble. So I'm someone who just will upload a design and forget about it and I've made 10 pounds of sales which I think is really really good and I did something really really interesting that I definitely want to talk about um, I told you I've, I've made videos about this okay um, if, but if I go to product pricing okay so in this video I released uh, on October the 24th I talked about increasing your margins on Redbubble and I went on stickers and I increased my markup to 80%, okay? And I love to show you guys when things work. So just look at these two examples, okay? Uh, £1.36, you've made a sale, someone in the United Kingdom, so I guess it's in pounds, and that's why it's also in cent in millimeters, which doesn't really make sense because I'm pretty sure we use inches as well in the UK, but there you go. Um, yeah, so £1.36, which is um, 0.36 GBP to USD, uh, $0.48, so $0.48, cents. but I made my first sale in ages yesterday, 
and it's $1.39, okay? And this was after I increased my margins in this video to 80%. I highly encourage you guys, I'm probably gonna make another video about this because it's just so important and it's so easy and it's something that you should do at the very beginning of your Redbubble career. So the main advantage of Redbubble is its simplicity. You don't have to worry about anything. It's really, really nice. Another good thing is you're earning money in dollars or pounds. So if your currency is weaker than the dollar or the pound, you're going to be making more money per sale, especially if you increase the margins like I showed you before. Okay, so the final thing I want to talk about as to why I personally think Redbubble is the best for beginner print-on-demanders is the strength of SEO of the website. So this is Ahrefs, which um, is a paid, very expensive paid um, tool for SEO, which I have f uh, access to for the company that I work for. I'm not suggesting that you should get this tool, but you can get a trial. And I do have many videos on doing SEO research using this tool for Redbubble and other websites. But you can put any website into the Sites Explorer and press enter and it'll give you a rank. So 5,873 and it'll give you organic keywords that uh, Ahrefs has picked up and that it thinks is worth you knowing about basically. So this is the number I'm going to be looking at mainly, but you can also look at Ahrefs rank. This is T Public. Okay, I've got four websites: T Public, Spreadshirt, Zazzle, and Redbubble. Okay, just remember that. Uh, organic traffic: 3.6 million. Organic keywords: 3.8 million, which is pretty good. But uh, yeah, Spreadshirt is even less, but it has a higher Ahrefs rank, presumably because yeah, it has more backlinks. Um, but organic keywords is only 1.5 million compared to 3.8 million. So you can see already that Spreadshirt is not as strong as T Public. Uh, Zazzle has is, is actually pretty strong. 4.1 million organic keywords. Ahrefs rank 1.7 thousand. Backlinks 2. Uh, 214 million and organic traffic 5.1 million. But this is the important one. Just look at Redbubble. Redbubble has almost 20 million keywords. So it has six times more keywords than T Public. It has 10 times or 15 times more than Spreadshirt, five times more than Zazzle. It's just, it's insane. Ahrefs rank 833. Um, this is why I personally think Redbubble is the best website. However, I will say that this could be changing, okay? Because as we, as I've been talking about recently, it seems that Google is trying to um, broaden the search result pages so it's not always these websites, Etsy and Amazon. I'm convinced that they are trying to break the monopoly that these companies have. So this might not stay the same, but for now, I think Redbubble is easily the best print-on-demand website for a beginner and I do recommend that you get started. I recommend you upload five designs a day. I recommend you watch my playlist so that you can learn keyword methods and you can make pretty good money, especially if your currency is weaker than the pound or the dollar. Hope this helps you out and I'll see you really soon with some more content. Peace.